Right, hello everybody. Um, this is Pablo Vegasin. Um, and now I'm doing another YouTube speech. Um, and um, the previous YouTube speech was about um team six marriage and and how it relates to individual and religious freedom. And now we're going to talk about the same issue. And be, but this time I'm talk, looking at um homophobia. Before we go on with it, um, just make a, a few disclaimers. Um. Basically, um, what I say here is not an opinion of any employers, past, future, present, or any relatives, past, future, fr present, um, or any friends, past, future, or present, or any um, teachers, past, future, present. Um, this is all just my, my opinion on my own free time. And um, also, just before people start complaining, um, and also um, because I do work as a substitute teacher, um, just a um, reminder that I don't, I don't bring this topic up in schools. Um, if the lesson plan is just teach math, I'm teaching math. The lesson plan says teach like American history, I'm just like American Revolution. I'm just teaching on that, so I don't want people to complain. Oh, oh, your, oh, my kid found your YouTube video on, on this topic, and how dare this guy bring this topic to school? No, your kid looked it up on his own free time. So if he your kid knows I'm talking about this. Your kid looked it up on his free time, okay? So don't give me this stuff like, oh, you're, oh why are your teachers teaching this in school? No, this is... <laughs> school and free time is separate. So, again, if I'm in your student's classroom, I'm teaching them whatever the lesson is. So if it's math, it's math. If it's science, it's science. So I don't want to hear this, oh, what are your teachers teaching in school, okay? I'm, right? So if your kid find out, it's his fault because he looked it up on his own time, okay? So anyways, um, back to the topic. Um, the topic is um, homophobia. A lot of it um, starts off with just ignorance of the issue. Um, when I was like, you know, like two decades ago, middle school, like early teenage, of course, I hear about what homosexuality and I thought, ugh, gross. Like, what is people doing all that? Like, at that time, I did not know anybody who was out of the closet. Okay, all I know about this whole LGBT thing, or back then, just called gays or homosexuals, just basically like what. Like TV depictions of RuPaul, which is some character people usually laugh at. Like I didn't know anybody that was like out of the closet at that time. So you know, all the, we have all this skewed per, um, perspective, like oh, gross, whatever. We're thinking what's wrong with these people. Like we didn't know that. You know, like I didn't know anyone personally. And of course, later on, some of the classmates came out of the closet later in life, like for good reason because all this um all this BS that you know kids put each other through, and of course. People do accuse each other of being gay in like the middle school. Most of kids who are accused of being gay or not gay, they just like to say that stuff just to put them down. I mean, of course, like people accuse me of that, and like of course, accuse them back and all that stuff. I mean, you know how it goes in middle school and all that. Like, and it was basically our reactions like, how dare you um accuse us of something that we looked down on? But you know what? Like later in life, I learned that um like just actually researching a topic. I learned that um the people who are, who are um gay or lesbian like you know like I just learned that they they have so much internal struggles like growing up because people don't understand them like they didn't want to tell like anybody who they really are because they're afraid that their friends might pick on them or people might turn against them it was like when I read about that I was like oh crap you know I didn't even know like my you no know, not 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 many people around me talked about it and then. So I was like, oh my god, I didn't even know that. You know, like, I used to laugh at, like, like one thing, like, we were talking about that issue in, like, a social studies class in high school. Like, one guy is like, saying, oh, like, oh, same-sex marriage is going to be, like, oh, pretty soon someone's going to marry to death. And I started laughing, and one, one person got mad, and all. I was like, see I, see, I thought it was funny back then, but right now I was like, no, nah, that's not right, you know? <laughs> so, um, yes, a lot of it is just ignorance of the issue, and I learned about the issue, and then I learned that, you know, like, you know, that sexual attraction is basically, like, or certainly within you, you're pretty much predisposed to being, like, attracted to a certain person or whatever. Like, you know, most guys, like, to, um, you know, attracted to a girl with a certain shape, you know what I mean? And then, um, but, and we're just, we can't explain why. We just came naturally, but for, like, those who are um, attracted to the same sex, they don't, they're like, oh, what's wrong with me and all that, and then, 
like a lot of us think, oh, what's wrong with them? But yeah, they think of them that way themselves, and some of them are afraid of being like stigmatized and stuff, and some of some of them end up like, you know, end up killing themselves because they're um, all the stigma and all that hate that's coming towards them. So, um, so yes, yeah, so, um, we learned a lot the last few years. Like nowadays, we have like Macklemore and Lady Gaga, like you know, promoting like like LGBT rights, and like now people are more educated, like um. And now more people know people like other cause like me and my family like we didn't really talk about it until like um well until like you know me and my brother started you know like accusing each other of being gay or whatever you know just as stupid jokes and like and of course my mom's like didn't like that and like later I found and then later on like um the Ellen show came on where she came out of the closet and first time we talked about this issue ever so it was in high school and that was going on like so that that topic was never brought before that um. And I found out later um, in life that um, one of my uncles, um, well, people talk about how he was ill and all that and sick, so everyone thought maybe like diabetes or whatever. And I found out that my grandma just mentioned, like in passing, that don't call out AIDS. I'm like, what? Like, no one mentioned AIDS before. I was like, it's like, how did he get it? Then she did mention some guy that one of his friends, that uncle's friends that I kind of heard about but don't really know. I was like, I was like, oh, sh for real. That uncle is, for real. I was like, oh, shit. Oh, crap, I didn't know that. See, this is this is kind of stuff like people don't really talk about, and even within family, so I was like, like we didn't even know. Of course, like, maybe, like, what, a couple years later, that uncle passed away, and, like, I was like, oh, crap. You know, like, when we talk about my mom, it's like, she talks about, um, like, how that uncle had to, like, suffer so much, and, like, how many people they didn't know how much he had to suffer through life? Like when he was like, when I guess my grandma found out like he was like that. I was like, of course my grandma didn't know either. It's like, oh, like well, you know, like why are you like this? Blah blah. blah. And like my uncle's talk to my grandma was like, what? You think I want to be this way? I mean, you think I like it? So I was like, oh yeah. So this, yeah, it's pretty hard to talk about it, but um. <clears throat> so yeah, it's like so once you know someone who's in who's been to that situation and it's, then you start to feel guilty that like you didn't know about it earlier and like some of the jokes you made in the past and all that so um yeah so that's so now more and of course like you know as you grow older like you find out that some of the classmates have um come out of the closet I mean you know when you get an adult you're kind of more honest with yourself so it's like so like, yeah so you kind of know how other people feel so that's why like um so yeah, even though like um a lot of us um might be uncomfortable with um, homosexuality and like of course like you know like I would still wouldn't want to watch any um gay porn or any of that stuff. I mean still like I'll still feel uncomfortable with that or you know, still feel uncomfortable, you know, like with you know, them making out, but you know what, that's their life, you know what I mean? That's what they wanna do. I mean, you know, I have no right to like bully them about it or make you know, make fun of it or whatever, you know. I mean <laughs> the hell do they? Why should they care if everyone's comfortable around that? As long as they're not forcing anyone to do what they're doing, you know. So it's like, yeah. So, so don't worry. Like, yeah. So like, if you're gay, like, don't don't worry about other whether people are comfortable with what you're doing with in a consensual matter. I mean, you are what you are, and you know you have no right to um bully you or anything like that. You know, or, like make negative comments and stuff. So, yeah. So I think. <laughs> You know, now that more and more people are understanding, the media is exposing more stories about it. And now we have, like, um, stars like Macklemore singing Same Love and, like, Lady Gaga talking about Born This Way. Like, now, like, people are more understanding about this issue. And now, like, um, even, like, well, even, like, the rappers are now, like, um, like, now trying to support gay rights. Like, two decades ago, they're, like, insulting, you know, homosexuals and calling each other, calling their rival rappers, like, gay or whatever, you know, like. Like, you remember, like, Easy e was like, in front of Dre and what, what Dre used to wear when he was with the Wrecking Crew and, you know, all that stuff, like, all this back and forth stuff. Like, now, like, not even the, even the rappers are, like, you know, they, they're kind of backing away from that. So I think now more people are understanding this issue. And um, and that's why, like, so, yeah, so probably by the end of this month, um, same-sex marriage would probably be legal in Hawaii and it would probably be um, legal in more states. And it's pretty much, like, it's going to be a... It's gonna be like for real. It's gonna be 
probably by the end of the decade, more states would have probably the majority of states have like um, same sex marriage. And you know what? Like again, it's um, individual freedom. So even if you're still uncomfortable with it, like yeah, maybe the first few months it's legal where you are. It's gonna feel weird, but after all, we're probably just getting used to it. I mean, you know, you adjust. I mean, that's fine. I mean, they want to do what they want to do. Whatever, you know. So. Yeah, it's kind of emotional just admitting, like, you know, ignorance in the past and talking about the struggles of, you know. But uh, thank you for watching this. And um, again, um, any um, parents who are, like, upset because a kid might view my speech, I mean, again, this is on my own free time. This is not, like, I mean, again, if I'm in your kid's school, I'm just talking, I'm just teaching the lesson plan. So if you're, the lesson plan says um, teach subtraction or, teach like um like what is a like a solid liquid or gas or teach like like the Hawaiian monarchy I'm just focusing on that so I don't want to hear parents complain to a kid's school that oh why is one of your teachers um substitute teachers like talking about this on YouTube I mean this is my own free time so um, it's just a disclaimer on that so hope everyone like learned something from this video and um and, and I'll say good luck to everybody and have a nice time right